Hey YouTube, it's Justin here with Alternative Drummer. Elisa's just announced two brand new versions of two of their most popular drum kits, and I thought it would be a good time to come on here and share my thoughts about them. So before we get started though, be sure to follow my brand new music project called Mockman Mini. There's a link down below. Uh, you can follow that. You can either purchase the album on Bandcamp or you can just stream it on Spotify. Now on the Bandcamp page, there's actually a section where you can order a unique, one-of-a-kind cassette. And you can learn more of the details with that link down below. I don't want to spend too much time talking about it on this video. So anyway, but check that out. Okay, let's talk about these two new Elisa's kits. So basically what happened here is Elisa's upgraded two of their kits. They did the Command as well as the Elisa Surge. And both of them received similar upgrades. Um, as you can see right here, the two kits look very similar. They were already pretty similar to begin with. Uh, here's the old Surge kit, which they still make down here. And then here's the old Command kit. So if you look at those two, they pretty much look identical except for the modules. And if we look at the two new ones, they pretty much look identical except for the modules. So what actually changed on these kits? Let's open up the Surge here uh, to take a closer look. So. The first thing you notice right away are the pads. The pads look quite different. And what they're doing now is using Alesis, uh, well, I'm gonna call it a pinstripe, even though it's not really a pinstripe, but it has that stripe around the edge, like a Remo pinstripe. And uh, these heads are actually really good. I've played these heads in some guitar centers and stuff on some of their other kits. And I gotta say, they do feel really good. Now, it may seem like not a huge update, but honestly, I think it does make a big difference in the feel of these drums. Though I haven't actually played the Surge yet with the new heads, but if it's the same heads that they're using on the other kits that use these, uh, I would think that they will make a big difference. Now the drum sizes are all the same. We still have the 10 inch snare drum and all eight inch toms as well as 10 inch cymbals. One thing I would have liked to have seen here, especially if they're going to do an SE version of these two kits, would be to make the cymbals a little bit bigger, especially, you know, the ride and the crash. They could have gone up to a 12 inch cymbal on those, I think but they didn't, so both kits still have 10 inch cymbals. The module is also exactly the same as the old one. There's no difference there. Uh, another thing that has been changed though is the drum rack. So you can see here we have an all black drum rack now. I like the look of these connector joints. They look pretty sturdy. And overall, I enjoy the black look of the rack better than the chrome. Uh, though, if they're gonna do a black rack, why did they still have chrome cymbal mounts? So it just kind of makes it look I don't know, a little mismatched. And then they gave these gold, you know, kind of gold looking lugs, which I actually do like those. But again, with the chrome, it's kind of, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And then we have white heads. So it's from a design standpoint, I think it's okay. I don't know, it's a little weird. It's like kind of mismatched, but it does look pretty nice. You know, when you see it from a distance, like you don't really notice those chrome symbol mounts that much. And I overall, I do think it looks a little cooler than the original one. Let's just take a look at the, the original one. So the original one has the black heads, as you can see here, but it also has the chrome rims and then the chrome uh, rack. Oh, and those connectors are the same, actually. Uh, so really, the only difference between the rack is the color. I'm, I'm still going to say I like this one a little bit better, uh, just because it looks a little, I don't know. I just like the black rack. It looks a little bit better. Now, what's really big about this announcement from Elisis on both of these new kits is they're bundling it with some software. Um, number one here, you get 60 free lessons and a 14-day premium subscription to Melodics. If you don't know what Melodics is, Melodics is an absolutely fantastic uh, drum learning software. Well, it actually does other things other than drums, but I use this program all the time. I use it with my students constantly. It's a great addition to traditional drum lessons. And then if you have nothing else, if you don't have a teacher, it actually will teach you how to play the drums. It's a really, really cool piece of software. It's kind of like a game and it works with electronic drums really well. Uh, my only problem here, what they did is 14 days. Eh, that's kind of, I mean, that's not even a month. At least give a month. Um, I subscribe per year and it's $150 for the premium subscription per year, which sounds like a lot, but I mean, you know, if you break that up into 12 months, it's not totally, it's not too bad, and what you get is definitely worth it, especially for me, because like I said, I use it for students. So I find it to be very worth $150 per year. However, I would have liked to see Elisa's give more than a 14-day uh, premium subscription here. I think, you know, six months really should have been, you know, if, if a year is $150, six months, 
they could have done that. I think they could have included that in this package. 14 days, really, a, a lot of people are going to set that up. They're going to set up their drums, and by the time they get it all hooked up and start using everything, the 14 days are going to go past. And it's like it never existed, basically. But the one thing that is really nice here is they give you BFD. It's a stripped-down version of BFD, uh, which is a drum plug-in software. And so if you don't know what this does, it's basically you can plug your drum module into your computer and have really, really high-resolution sounds coming out of your computer. This is great for recording. And I actually watched a demo of the drums that they're providing with the Elisa Surge and the Elisa uh, Command, and they're really nice. Um, I actually think that this, you know, even though it's a stripped down version, it's still a really nice plugin, and I think a lot of people will enjoy the sounds uh, coming from this plugin. Now, of course, it's not, you know, the same as updating the module, but I kind of like this approach. I like what they're doing here, and this you get unlimited, even though it's stripped down, but there's no trial or anything like that. They fully give you this program to use with the drums. So you could, you could be up and recording some really high quality sounding uh, sampled drums, you know, basically as soon as you get the drum kit. Okay, let's take a look at the command. And it basically, you know, like I said, it looks exactly the same. You still get the original command module. Uh, the only difference being the drum rack, the heads, and the drums themselves look a little bit different. Uh, the pedals look more like the nitro pedals now. Uh, than the ones that they had before that looked like the Surge. And they're giving you the same accessories here. They're giving you Melodic's 14-day trial and the BFD player uh, software. So, you know, do I think these are worth it? Let's take a look at the price. So let's look at the Surge right now. On Amazon, is $599 for the new model. Uh, the old model is $576. So, you know, it's a little bit of a price bump, but I do think that it's worth it. Uh, if you were looking at the Surge, uh, I would go with the, you know, the new version, the SE version, rather than the older version because you get those updates there. Because you get those software upgrades as well as the head upgrades, I think both of those are very worth it. Okay, so the Command SE is going for $7.99. Now, this is a bit steep in my opinion. Um, if I were going to choose between the two, I would just go with the Surge. Uh, because really the only difference here is the drum module. And honestly, the drum module doesn't even offer that many more features uh, that come on the Surge. Uh, it does give you some sample import, but I think a lot of people probably aren't even really gonna use that. Most people are gonna get this and be using uh, the BFD that comes with it, as well as Melodics. I would go with the Surge and right away start using that Melodics trial just so you can see how cool it is, and then pick your plan. Uh, because, you know, like I said, if you're learning drums, Melodics is actually a really, really good piece of software. I just wish they had given you more of a trial period with it. But honestly, I just don't think the command is really worth the extra $200. It seems like a lot uh, when you're essentially getting the same drum kit with just a slightly different drum module. So out of the two, I would definitely pick the Surge. Let's go back to that one. Pretty cool kit. Uh, even though it's not like a huge difference from the original, they changed just enough to where I felt like it was worth mentioning. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe. What do you think of these new Elisa's drum kits? Post your comment down below, and I'll see you all really soon. Have a great day.